this afternoon for this post-match conference. Questions, please, just approach this microphone. Uh, just your overall assessment of your performance against uh, Bren. What needs to improve or what things you did well today? I think we just make a lot of mistake today in game and communication. Also, we just lost our confidence. That's why we cannot perform well. Uh, is that right? So you've already faced uh, Onik and uh, Bryn, the two top, the top two uh, teams who are favorites for for the M5 World Championship. And basing on your performance on both teams, uh, do you think you still have what it takes uh, to to win the title? Given that you've experienced losses, and you know which uh, aspects of your game to improve the next time you face them. Um, after facing Bren and Onik, we're still going to do our best and finish this tournament strong. No matter what happens, we will do whatever it takes to win. Um, hi, see you soon. So... Now that you guys are going down to the lower bracket, um, you will possibly fight either Geek Fam or Burmese schools. So, um, who would you rather uh, fight um, in the next round in the playoffs? Uh, I think any, but first of all, before we match with Geek or either no, I think so. Burmese. Burmese school, I think we need to hard reset because we've been we've been performing not really good this past few this past few series and it's uh it's uh, i think because of ourselves so yeah i think we need to hard reset first before thinking who we need to match up with uh all right so on that note who do you think will win between geek fam and burmese schools uh i'm friends of geek fam so i think <laughs> Uh, hi, see you soon. Uh, I'm Mario from uh, Philippines. Is there some kind of pressure uh, when you face a Filipino team or a, a former world champion like on like um, AP Brand or Blacklist or even uh, other teams from the Philippines? Uh, I think it's normal because they are a big teams. When you hear Blacklist, uh, M Series champion M4, M3, M3. M3 champion, two, two, ilang MPL, MPL champ, so many MPL champions. When you hear Brent, so many consistent tournament that they bag this year. And when you hear Onik, you know that they're the biggest team. So whenever I hear them, so there's always a pressure. So it's up to us on how to face that pressure. So we can perform much better compared to the, to the, uh, compared to the, like we are playing right now because we're pressured like that. Okay. H how did the team come into the match against AP Bren, knowing that this is one of the most winningest teams in international tournaments? Okay. Paano kayo naghanda na knowing na isa ang Bren sa may pinakamaraming titulo sa mga international tournaments? Uh, I think in terms of preparation, we tried our best, but that's the bad thing because in tournaments, like the things we prepared really got not uh, like we forgot about it because we got pressure too much, we think too much, we overthink too much. So I, so I think, yeah, our preparation was good. We planned so many good things. We practiced so many good things, but when the tournament happens, we got like black, uh, uh, 
Oh, uh, like we, na, parang bumang ka yung utak namin, no blanka kami. Hindi kami na, hindi kami nakaisip ng maayos kasi yun nga, sobrang kinain rin ng pressure. Okay. So, uh, my la- last question from me, no. Ano sa tingin niyo yung pinaka dapat mag-improve? Or? What do you think you need to improve most on in your play cons- with with ano, with AP brand? Chemistry and bonding. Chemistry. Okay, thank you. Ano yung question nako? Uh, I just wanted to know your thoughts and comments on the Odette pick of Bren, I think in Game 3. Uh, was it, uh, does, did it surprise you and how did Odette uh, affect the game in, in Game 3? Um, the biggest factor about the Odette pick is to counter Kari, is good counter against Kari, especially they already know that I'm using, that I will just purify that time and it's hard to fight Odette ulti when Kari is creating. So, I will just automatically box out by Odette and Benedetta. So, it's a good pick from them. Uh, can I ask the Cambodian players? So, yeah. so I'd like to ask you guys in uh, Kamai. So, uh, our Cambodian audience will be able to understand you as well. เอ่อจังไงนั้นปรากฏจมวนในเอพิแบรนด์คือกรงแต่ถ้าคลังในក្នុងเอ่อ uh, so my question was uh, similar to the earlier questions is about how much pressure do they have facing AP brand one of the favorite on M5 and how can they improve in the future matches ខ្ញុំចាជាខ្មែរណាមកអឺសម្រាប់ការប៉ះអេពីប្រែនឹងវាមិនជាក្រុមដែលពួកយើង <coughs> ยุบเซ็งพี่คณีเราเป็นตัวยามเรื่องวิมอทมวยๆนั้นเป็นประกวดนั้นโดยเรียกครับเอ่อเจ้าแฟนแฟนบอสซีซูนเอ่อเดี
Yeah. Okay, uh, Joe, there's translation is that uh, they also have, uh, they can understand basic English, but some of the Cambodia players are where it has a uh, limited English, so they uh, limit their wording into just keywords so they can just understand during games. But overall, the communication is not so uh, not so bad. Yeah. 